Okay, look. You have rigs. You probably have a lot that you use from time to time. And when the time comes to make a new art piece, you append them into your working file. Everything sounding correct so far? Okay. But by doing that, you're also appending or duplicating everything that composes the rig. So if one of them happens to be, say, 70 megabytes worth of images, mesh data, materials, and so on, you're wasting a new 70 megabytes of space when you could have reused the data instead. But ah, yes, reusing, or recycling, or linking. Sure, you can do that. But it just so happens that linking sucks sometimes. Linking an ID block from another file is effectively recycling, but you cannot modify that ID until you apply library overrides or you fully localize it. Library overrides will let you change certain properties, but fully localizing will let you modify everything. Now, depending on what you link and how much it brings with it, you might be playing a game of Jenga. Because if you want to make changes and you localize things in the wrong order, drivers and parents are subject to breaking. Game over. Headache. Appending has no issue with this, but... <laughs> you know, and yes, you can use library overrides, but that's that's besides the point. Still not the best option. I'm here to introduce to you Optiploy, the optimized deployment of rigs. It will link collections and objects, then localize data however much you wish, while leaving the rest linked to the source file. And it's so easy to use. Install the add-on, then add blend files individually or by the folder. Optiploy will then scan the files for objects and collections to spawn, if they have been marked as assets. Let's run it through with an example. Here we have a rig of Mono from Little Nightmares 2. Notice how he's under a collection named Mono Rig. To make this compatible with Optiploy, all we have to do is right-click the collection, Use mark as asset, save the file, go into the preferences, and add the blend file. Optiploy has scanned the file and found one collection to spawn. Again, if you want to spawn an object, all you have to do is right click on an object, mark as asset. But in this situation, I'm not going to do that. Open a new file, and let's spawn mono. Look at that you'll see that the objects and collections have been localized because they don't have the chain icon next to them. That's something Optiploy does by default. But go to the Object Data tab, you'll see that the mesh and armature data has been linked, but given library overrides. Okay, let's talk about how we can localize more data. In the Tools View mode, under the Behavior box, we can choose what should be localized and what shouldn't be. It, uh, if you see yourself modifying any of these data types in the future, then just enable them. However, not localizing the data gives you a chance to go back to the source file and modify it a bit, with the changes showing up wherever that data is used. I don't know what types of IDs that covers, but meshes and materials... Yeah, you should be fine. These settings can be per folder or per blend file, so if you need to change the settings for one thing but not the other, just override the behavior and change the settings. The options in post-processing are pretty self-explanatory, but I, I recommend leaving execute attached scripts enabled if what you're spawning has a rigify rig or something. To all the Python scripters out there, Optiploy will assign a newly spawned item to a globally accessible variable. Uh, this being bpy.context.scene under the custom property new underscore spawn. You can write your own scripts to further modify data after they've been spawned. Lastly, let's compare resulting file sizes and traditional importing methods. Here I have six sets of combine rigs from Half-Life Alex, made by DustU10. This whole thing is like 500 megabytes. Compressed is like 440. Yes, this could definitely have a bunch of optimizations performed on it, but for file size sake, let's leave it as is and see how much space we can save when we use Optiploy. Or link it. Localize collections and objects by default. Okay. Spawn. 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 Okay, how much space do we save? Linked. 17 megabytes, that's not bad. What happens if we save it in a compressed state? <laughs> 1.5 megabytes, even better! Okay, I'm just gonna spam one thing like 20 times. Okay, how many was that? How many... Whatever. What? Three and a half megabytes? That's crazy. 
Okay, op deploy works. Now let's compare different methods of bringing rigs in. Let's uh, copy and paste this. Paste, wow, brings over everything and shows all the bone shapes. Sucks. Appending, but with these options. Brings over everything and still shows all the bone shapes. Sucks. Linking. Okay, can't move it. Localize this. Localize that. Oh, it's already broken. Sucks. Linking with library overrides. Right click, library override, make, sucks in content. I uh, do. Whoa, it works. Fully articulate. And the drivers work. But, uh oh, I don't want this, and I can't delete it, and it sucks. Up to point wins. <laughs> in all honesty, you. <laughs> what? In all honesty, you can do this, and it works. But whatever, it took too long. I, I do think Optiploy can be a real time and storage saver. I, I genuinely think this could be of use to you. Anyways, there's there's not much more to talk about. It, it's a simple add-on. All right, take care.